Hi there. Now let's take a look at how to use the measurement CLI uh, from the Windows prompt. And then we're going to take a look at how to use it uh, inside Gaia CLI and Linux shell as well. So on Windows prompt, this is located in the same folders where Smart Console is installed. And there is a difference when we we're interacting with the measurements with the API when you're making API calls outside of Smart Console CLI. So first we have to be authenticated, and then uh, this authentication session is going to generate a token that will allow us to perform the operations that we want. So let me show you what I mean by that. So first I have to call the tool then the command that i want to use and now we're going to pass the credentials so minus u username minus p that's going to be my password minus m that's going to be the management server ip address okay and voila i was successfully authenticated okay now the most important here we want is the session id so this is the token that we need to perform the following operations. So what we have to do is to save this information into a file and the next operations, we, re we reference that file to perform the operations. Okay, let me just show you, it's, it'll be easier. So I'll just save this to a file and I'll call txt done i can see the content idtxt there you go and now if i want to let's see the hosts on the management server so let's call the tool and i want to run the command show hosts and i want to use the session id that i already got you can see i'm able to perform the operations because i'm already authenticated based on the token that it's saved in, inside the file so but the commands are the same as we already saw uh let me see networks okay like adding host deleting host is the same thing okay like we did inside smart console cli uh so now let's take a look how to interact using Gaia CLI and login okay I'm inside management server now the command to authenticate is different is different and here what we have to issue is the management login user admin password admin 1234 okay we don't have any prompt and message it just okay it was successfully authenticated how can how do we know that i issue the same command management show hosts works i issue show management show networks okay same thing it's successful now if i want uh well, let's take a look at uh at linux shell so let's log in to expert mode now inside the expert mode recall that the tool here is management cli so we have to call management cli again it's like we did on the windows prompt uh minus no login okay user admin password one two three four but here we don't need to point to a different management server because we are already inside the management server and if i just issue this command again the same thing i have to save this to a file okay and the next operations let me see show hosts as 
Okay. Same result. Now, there is one advantage using this mode is that uh, let me just log out. Oh, if I don't issue that, is that we can perform the operations as being um, super admin or as a root. And the way to do that is by using the tool and let's say we want to see the networks and I use this parameter minus R set to true. So I'm not using the session ID whatsoever. So based on my user as an admin, I'm already being authenticated. So I don't need to provide any more credentials. So I have here some files that we're going to test right now. Let's say that I want to add some rules into, into my smart console. And let me do that by calling the tool. And the command is add access rule. And this is going to be a batch of a file. And I'll call rule. I want to use the root. And we're going to see uh, new rules being uh, published. And whenever we're using the root, uh, it is going to automatically publish the change. We can see here. Voila. So these five new rules were added and were published. That's awesome, right? So now, if I want, I can delete just like that. Uh, management CLI, delete access rule, uh, batch, that's delete, minus R, true. Sure. And it is going to delete only those rules. It'll take a minute. Done. So as you can see, this tool is very powerful and very handy. Um, so in the next one, we're going to see how to interact uh, with the management server uh, using Postman. Uh, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me see. Let me know what you think about it. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.